Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the Let's Encrypt SSL certificate in Plesk and how you can manage the renewal process. Well, if you don't know about Let's Encrypt, it's a free automated and open certificate authority and it's really simple to use. If you don't have an SSL certificate on your website, you get a similar error or warning in your browser. If you want to install Let's Encrypt in Plesk, you need to log into your Plesk control panel and navigate to your website, click dashboard, and then select SSL TLS certificates. Here we get a warning that the domain is not secured. That's why we need to install the Let's Encrypt SSL certificate. Scroll down and here at the first option, click install. And here now you have a few options. Let's Encrypt comes with an expiration date. It is valid for 90 days. And after that, you need to renew it. Here we can see a note that the certificate will be automatically renewed 30 days in advance before its expiration. And normally this is what happens, but there are some exceptions when the automatic renewal will not work. I will talk about this in a little bit. Okay, so first you need to provide an email address and then you have to decide what you want this SSL certificate to cover. So by default, the first option is checked. So we need to secure the main domain. We can also secure wildcard domains or subdomains, but right now I am not going to check this one. However, I will check the third one to include the www version of my domain as well. And I will also secure webmail and the mail domain. Let's click get it free. And now the SSL certificate is installed. And if I refresh my page, this warning message should disappear. And yes, the website is now protected. And if we click here, we can see that the HTTPS is working. And if I click to view the site information, we can see that the connection is secure and the certificate is valid. Okay, let's go back and let me unassign this certificate. Now, if I refresh the page, again, I'm getting this not secure warning. Let's go back. So the way we installed Let's Encrypt, we'll make sure that the SSL certificate will be renewed automatically. You won't need to do anything manually and your website will be secured continuously. However, there is a problem when you check the wildcard option. So let's go back here and click install again. And this time let's check this option. So this, so this option makes sure that all your subdomains are also installed with this certificate. But the auto renewal will only work with wildcard domains if your DNS records are managed within Plesk. If your domain name's DNS records are managed by an external DNS provider, for example, I don't know, GoDaddy or, or Namecheap, and not within Plask, the system loses the ability to automatically control DNS validation. It's a critical step because if you want to secure wildcard domains as well, Let's Encrypt will require DNS validation for the, for the renewal process. And if your DNS records are not managed within Plask, the system will not be able to change this record. When Plesk manages your DNS, it can automatically update DNS records as needed during the renewal process and you don't have any problem. But if your domain name is somewhere else, it's with another registrar and you don't manage your DNS records here in your Plesk account, then the renewal process will not work. You will need to go back to wherever you are managing your DNS records 
and you will need to manually create the DNS uh, record that is required by, by Let's Encrypt. So if I click on Get It Free, now I get a different page. It tells me that I need to create a text record with this name and with this value. And actually, this is the part that will change with every renewal. If you manage your DNS records here in Plask, Plask will be able to automatically update this record. But if your DNS record is somewhere else, it won't be able to interact with those records and the renewal process will fail. Okay, so if this is the case, unfortunately, there is nothing you can do. You will need to copy this value and go back to your registrar and update the DNS record. And when you did that, you just need to click on continue and your domain will be covered for the next three months again. But after three months, you will need to do this again manually. Uh, let me cancel this. And let me click on install again. And you might be wondering that, okay, if we can't use this, um, then what about this one and this one? Aren't these wildcard domains? And actually that's a good question, but the short answer is uh, they are not. They are not counted as wildcard domains. These options do not require DNS validation. For these options, Plask will use HTTP-based validation, so we don't need any uh, DNS validation for this. So as long as we don't check the uh, wildcard option here, we are okay with these settings. And if we click here, then we are good to go. And this Let's Encrypt SSL will be automatically renewed next time. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below the video and I will get back to you as soon as I can.